hey guys thank you so much for watching today we are doing a raised bed garden tour of our main gardening area good morning toasty the chickens just came out of the coop so they are they're loud so let's go ahead and get started so here's the view of the main raised bed garden area i do have two large beds over there um we'll go over there and look briefly but um the beds are empty right now so there's not a ton in there to see but i do have some vines and some nasturtiums and things over there that we can take a look at but i just love this view here four years to get this view and really like enjoy it so all right let's go ahead and dive into these beds I have seven beds total and they are between two and three years old. I also have some potted things around the beds and this one we've got strawberry and this one we've got kale. You can see the cabbage moth caterpillars have been going to town on it. It's supposed to be a trap plant, but they still eat the other cabbages around the garden because why not? Pepper, strawberry. In this pot, I have one of my mystery seedlings um, that we are doing as a group. I'll tag the video if you want to see, but it's doing pretty well. I have I'm late to planting everything, so all of my stuff is behind. We've got another, this is the ornamental um, cabbage. I've got some horseradish that I'm growing for the first time, and I'm excited about this. I actually got the horseradish root from Menards. And I was so surprised to see it. I've, I've never seen horseradish sold as a, a root for planting just in the grocery store. So I'm excited about that. This bed has pineapple sage, um, a couple of tomatoes, peppers, basil, marigolds. We've got some lemon balm, some ornamental oregano, um, basil. There's a couple of uh, bush bean plants in here too. I'm just trying to like squeeze everything in and maximize all the spaces. We've got a squash plant here. There's a tomato just behind it. There's about two tomatoes in here. And then right here is my Sherville. And I planted this seed early spring and it is on its way out. Um, it was our first time growing it and actually eating it, and we loved it. It kind of has a more licorice flavor to it. A light licorice, because I don't like um, like black licorice. It doesn't taste like black licorice. It, it's like a lot, very light flavor. I've got my nasturtium in the front, and we've got some parsley in there, some bush beans, There's something right here. I think it is, what is this guy? Like some kind of root. It's got a bulb right there. I don't have no clue what it what it is. It might be a radish, might be a turnip. I don't have no idea. These three front beds are all the same size. They're little squares, they're super cute. This front bed here has all strawberries in it and it struggled earlier early this season um, I think it was a fertilizing issue um, the soil was probably depleted so I added some um, fertilizer back in there and so far the leaves are starting to look much better next to it is a pot of potatoes 
and they're looking really good i i failed with potatoes two years ago so hopefully these guys do good this middle bed is asparagus raspberry there's a raspberry over here and then it also has a volunteer tomato plant that i'm just gonna let continue to do its thing next to that we have another pot of potato he is still in the coop like he needs to get out of the coop i don't know why he's staying in there so long doesn't make any sense okay anyway this last bed has oregano and look how big my oregano is it's been this is season two for this oregano it overwintered and this year it is just so huge i've been like cutting it back giving it to the girls drying it drying it and it still is just a beast i also have strawberries in this bed as well but the oregano is kind of taken over you can see some strawberry leaves but i just think it's so beautiful um this combination last year before the oregano got out of control it was like this really pretty um just leaf leaf structures versus you know the strawberry it was just so pretty and this year it's just kind of like a monster still harvesting fruit and herbs from it so it's i mean it's doing its job it's beautiful it's just like out of control and this bed we've got some swiss chard from spring i'll be pulling the swiss chard out um as it tries to go to seed and uh i'm not sure what i'll be planting um in this bed afterwards i do plan to have a fall garden so i'll be starting those seeds soon but i'm not sure exactly what i'll replace the swiss chard with but i mean this plant is gorgeous i grow it mostly just to look at it and give it to the chickens but we do uh, make salads with it um i was thinking about freezing some leaves too for smoothies even though it kind of has that more earthy taste, um, I'll still throw it in a smoothie. We've got basil, marigolds, bush beans, some little peppers. Um, my ginger is in this bed. Parsley, thyme. This thyme is variegated and it's so pretty. I grabbed a bunch of variegated um, herbs this year. Not a bunch, but I've got variegated thyme, variegated basil over here, which is so pretty, so pretty. And then in a bed, that bed back there that we just looked at, let's go over there. I have variegated oregano, which I'm hoping will also overwinter and hold its variegation because sometimes see like there's a piece here that's not variegated sometimes they don't always hold their variegation there's the back of that bed all right i think we need to do one more so here's our garden tower this is the one that fell over it's looking really good um very happy with the harvesting from it regularly for drying keeping it watered sometimes this is my lemon balm from last year this overwintered in the bed and now it's a bush a cute bush but it's a bush now we've got more swiss shard i've got these i think these are beets they probably should come out now They've been in here since spring. Marigolds in here. Once all of this stuff is out, um, I'll definitely be thinking of starting my um, fall seeds directly in this bed. I think I'm gonna do a combination of both things. I'm gonna do a combination of starting them in seed trays and then also starting them in beds. Um, the seed trays will just be backup and to squeeze in other places um, as the beds open up. But it's July right now. It is time if you want to start a fall garden. It, now's the time to start those seeds for the fall garden. 
Um, what you want to do is calculate the days left that you have in your garden season. So from today to your first frost date. And then you want to look at your seed packets and determine what day is the day to harvest. And if if those days on the seed packet, let's say it's like you let's say I have a hundred days left, and then the seed packet says harvest within you know 90 days, I know that's gonna be a good plant to plant uh, for fall because I'll get a harvest before winter, before my first frost. So that's how you want to do it. Um, there's still plenty of time to uh, plant seeds for fall. If you didn't get any for spring or summer, you still have time to garden. There's plenty of time. There's also cucumelon in this bed and basil, peppers, a couple of lettuces. Um, things that kind of got forgotten are in this bed. There's a little tiny cucumelon in it. So cute. Now we've already harvest a few, harvested a few cucumelon from um, the beds over there. Let's take a look over there. Here's my variegated lemon tree, my root beer plant. I've got nasturtium and dill some really tiny plants here these were just leftover things i couldn't find a spot for i think they'll be fine in this bed so there's like thyme tomatoes um peppers little things it also needs some drip irrigation setup which i have not done yet nasturtium and then i have a squat i think it's actually cucumber climbing I've only gotten one cucumber so far, so I don't know how great this plant is performing, but I have gotten a couple of cucumelons, like I said before. And then we have some um, squash planted here, cucumbers planted here, um, and cucumelons here. So what I'd like to see is all of this climb here and meet this guy in the middle and they all just kind of take over and just be this gorgeous like rambling plant what is this there's a little something starting here so this is what the beds look like back here that one is pretty empty i that's where i took the garlic I took garlic out of there. So there's just like nasturtiums, a couple stray dill. This walkway is gorgeous. I love it so much. Look at that. So beautiful. Okay, so let's head to my other raised bed back here. This is a veggio garden bed. And I stuffed it with things, everything. I've got tomatoes in here. We've got basil, oregano, peppers, marigolds, potatoes, nasturtium, sage, um, ornamental kale, flowering kale, um what else is in here but there are petunias in here dill there's dill in here um so many different things i just just i had i had started like probably like a hundred herb plants and so i've just been stuffing them wherever i could possibly fit them so there's a little bit of everything everywhere in every bed so Look at that. The garden's looking so good right now. I'm sorry, this video is so rough and not as clear. I am having trouble with my editing software on my PC. And so I have been filming some things on my phone just to kind of get through to figure out what I want to do. If I want to try a new program, upgrade it or do something else. Look at this. Whose garden is this? All pretty and such. 
this is year four and when we started there was pretty much nothing but overgrowth nothing but hard work Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tour. Let me know if you have any questions about the about these raised beds and anything that I'm growing in them. I've just kind of been putting stuff wherever it will fit. Um, whereas last year, I kind of felt like I, ha I have to have these special rows of plants and they all have to be the same plant. Now, this year, this year we are putting it where it fits if it gets overgrown if it gets crazy like i am accepting the beauty of that and i'm excited about it and i love it already everything looks great it's pretty it's it feels different to me and i'm really excited about it and i think i might do this every year and not worry about okay so where can i put all of these peppers you know no there's peppers here there's peppers there there's herbs here there's herbs there i know where things are which works for me because i'm the one harvesting and doing all that kind of stuff but yeah all right so let me know if you guys have any questions and i'll see you in the next video bye